Thank you, friend, for joining me on the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Emma Stark from Glasgow, Scotland. Live unburdened. My child, what wonder there is for you to enjoy. While there is much concern and heaviness in the world's atmosphere, remember, you can live above it. You are seated with Christ at my right hand. Remember the authority you carry. Position yourself accordingly. You can know my timing and recognize the seasons without becoming burdened and undone. Indeed, while there is much challenge and heartache, I would have you focus on the wonder of my kingdom, pulling people up high with you. Take the stance of a victor, a conqueror. Posture yourself in wondrous awe and joyful gratitude as you remember that you have the victory. While the world's circumstances may weigh upon you, remember who it is that dwells within you. Let your spirit lead you through your days as you find your security in me. For as you dwell upon that truth and step into the fullness of the authority I have bestowed upon you, you will find yourself shaking the darkness and shining a light of hope upon those who need it most. See Psalm 28, 7 through 9, and Philippians 4, 6 and 7. Heavenly Father, I ask you right now, Send your Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us. Holy Spirit, I thank you that there are those that we can encourage, that there are those that we can, that we can pray for. There are those, Father, that we can help, help in deliverance, whatever it may be. Lord, I pray that I can live unburdened today. Pray that my friend can live unburdened. Lord Jesus, it's like the old pastor once said, what would our life be like if we had no fear, if we had no confusion if we had no anxiety, Lord, I pray that we can cast our cares upon you and Lord, we can walk in the authority as inheritors. Lord, I pray right now that we see ourselves as victors, as conquerors. Lord, I pray that we would also look beyond ourselves. Lord, help us to turn this into a time of prayer for others, decreeing for others, lifting up others, Lord. Lord, I just don't want to be about us four and no more. I want to be about those that you've placed in my life that I need to intercede for, that I need to witness to, that I need to encourage along the way. Friend, maybe that's our challenge for today. We find somebody. We encourage somebody. We live our life for someone else. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, amen.